Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Phoenix Hawk Hero Mech, one of the Hero Mechs. We are playing The Rock. It is a funky one and honestly I'm not a fan of the Phoenix Hawks but I was like you know what we're gonna test this guy out today and I want to see what I can do with it. As you can see our weapons are missile weapons and all of them are on the left arm. I will talk about that in a second. It is kind of a risky scenario but hey here we are. First of all I want to quickly say we are running an XL Engine 300 for an amazing speed of 116 kph, two jump jets, bit of ammo and then an MRM30 and an MRM10 and I'm gonna go for that combination instead of an MRM40 because we have better cooldown with it. Of course you could do something like this, look at that, we have the same amount of missiles and you save a ton so we could actually upgrade no we couldn't even actually upgrade <laughs> we could not do anything we could upgrade the other arms armor or that half ton of uh, ammo here but um instead of the cooldown of what is that four and a half seconds we now get a cooldown of 4.3 and uh, 3.9 seconds so we have a bit more dps splitting the missiles and being just fine like that in terms of quirks we have a good chunk of ballistic range although we only have one ballistic hard point here uh and then we got missile heat generation 15% cooldown 30% and velocity 20% and this is why I'm gonna go all missiles today because I want to check out what we can do with it. We have a bit of ammo capacity for all of our missile damage uh, as well and uh, I think that is it in terms of uh offensive stuff no actually it's it's getting it's getting further fall damage 25 percent reduction we have a bit of base armor and structure bonuses jump jet burn time target info gathering and uav range which i'm completely ignoring today so the elephant in the room is if you lose your left arm you are literally disarmed you have nothing anymore that means that you are completely useless on the battlefield other than target info gathering and acting as a decoy for your teammates to use uh, and therefore we always 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 need to shield with the other side at the same time we're running an XL engine, so try to not even get into any brawly situations. Try to use your, your jump mobility, your overall speed to be in the flank, to be outside of the fight and shoot into them, because otherwise you will just get shot down and then again, you're gonna be completely useless. At the very least, we have a bit of structure and armor quirks here. So 31 extra armor plates makes a lot of difference here. And um, yeah, it helps keeping that arm intact. And by the way, a thing that I was completely disregarding is our ammo quirk. Uh, I was not even thinking about it it was an old build that i did before the latest quirk and uh yeah the quirk pass so i think what you could do is you could drop the half ton of ammo here and actually put another jump jet in the mech so that you have a little bit more mobility and run three tons of ammo only you have enough of missiles anyways it's gonna be okay in terms of skills i was going for a max cooldown max heat gen so we can fire as often as we want at the same time I don't think heat gen is necessarily needed. You could probably dump all of these points into more range if you want to, or even uh, into more mobility. We also have all of these uh, missile nodes. We have velocity, which is very, very handy. Uh, I wanted as much survivability as possible. Therefore, armor hardening, skeletal density, and then also speed tweak because we have some leftover points. No extra cooling needed. Seismic sensor is there. We have some radar deprivation and then double artillery with a single cool shot. Again, the cooling of the mag is not drastically bad i think again you could go away or get away with uh with a uav and double artillery or vice versa so um very little investment into uh into heat management makes it so that you have a lot of flexibility on the skill tree to pick whatever you want basically and that's the build everybody wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming right now and if you have that don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty guys, first game of the day, we are playing, uh, what is that, Assault on the Emerald Vale. Shall we go with the Raven? I don't know if that's a good idea, but I do like the left side, I do like the Echo 4 area. Uh, let's see what we can do here. It's important that we're gonna keep our right arm intact, it's super duper crucial. And a bunch of ours are moving more to the right side, so yeah, I think we're gonna meet up in the center eventually. Hello? Hello? <laughs> he seems to be a bit confused. <laughs> All right, let's go with the Hellbringer. He also provides ECM. That's really good. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to fire. We have 550 meters. That's a number that we need to keep in mind. There is uh, sniper stuff on the high ground. Is that a Fafnir? A Blood Asp? I don't know. Let's stay somewhere in the city here. Again, Echo 4 is a good spot, but uh, if they have the high ground and if they are overwatching all of this, 
I don't know if we can really peek around there. Yeah, PPCs as well coming in. The Hellbringer. All right. Let's see. Echo 4. Oh, they have so many people up there. A Shadow Cat as well. All right. Our Raven is doing a good job narking all of these fools, but I don't see any missiles coming. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Very, very well done. But... I don't think there's any follow-up. Okay. These guys are not getting any damage on them, so we only know where they are right now. What happened? <laughs> Premature missile uh, launch. Okay. I didn't press any buttons here. Or at the very least, I, I didn't try to. Ha! Huh, weird. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I was grazing my mouse button. How do we breach that bulwark? That's the question. Think going with the assault mechs might be a good idea. Eh, missiles as well. Yo, guys, that's a very, very bad situation that we are in. We have to do something about it. And in order acquired. to do it, I'm gonna put myself out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might get hit. Maybe, maybe. Did I say we gotta preserve the right arm? I mean, the left arm? Warning incoming, Warning incoming missiles. I think I'm gonna try to block it here. Uh oh. Oh my god. All right, dodged it. Warning incoming missiles. Oh, yeah, all of them are on the high ground, it seems. We need to stop that somehow. Yeah, they are they are playing tower defense up there. But we got a Fafnir. Sorry, an Axum with us. Huh? New target UAV acquired. is up. Oh, boy, that's a lot of them. Target Let's go with the Marauder. Uh-huh. He is heavy peeps and ultras. I dealt some damage. Uh, I got punished for it. Axum, are you coming? Axum is not coming. Which is actually good right now. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here now because I need the fire support of my friend. Alright, here we go. The missiles, though. The missiles in my leg is not in a good spot. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's just so much. How do we play this? I mean, I'm in a good spot now. But, okay, let's not block the big boys. Can we get something done here? Stone Rhino, you say? I drop Artie there. That's the thing I can do. Didn't hit anything. Yeah, man, it's it's tough. That I can tell you. But we have broken their line. And we are 2-1 and one already. That's great. And there's another squad coming from the other side. Pincer move, baby. That's exactly what we need here. All right, let me try to get something done. The problem is I cannot really peek against these fools, I wanted to say. All right, using our amazing cooldown here. All right, again. I want that side torso, to be honest. Am I going to take more damage to get it? Oh, he's shut down. He's shut down. We got it. We got the side torso. All right, I think I'm, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to drop another Artie on the Stone Rhino. He's so suppressed that he's not gonna go anywhere, right? Yeah, and the red smoke is coming in. That might result in a bit of team damage. Maybe. Oh, the missiles again. Oh! Dodged him! Dodged him! Woohoohoo! Five and two! Pinsa move working out, baby! Let's go! Oh, that's a lot of them. That is all of them. All of the remaining ones. Alright, I'm gonna hide behind the Atlas. He's still alive. He's just shut down. All right, baby, Cyclops, here we go. Beautiful, seven and three, looking fantastic. All right, we're gonna go for Mr. Hellbringer now. Nobody attacks a Phoenix Hawk in that situation, right? Everybody's going for the bigger boys. Uh, nine and three, oh my God, that pincer move. If we stayed down there, we would have lost immediately, but a bit of aggression and a bold move actually made it happen. So let me get the stragglers in the center there. Soft landing? Eh, not that soft. So, Lima, what are you? You are a Jenna with a binary laser cannon. Do you have a friend, perchance? Because we are still missing a guy. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. That was so damn beautiful. Alright, here we go. Keep him spotted. I wanna help. I'm here for it. Oh yeah, he has a friend. Uh, it's a shadow cat. Uh, let's not get legged. Alright, on the Jenna. Did he overheat? Seems like it. Hey, friend. How are you? Going for my leg? You going for anything? Alright, we gotta kill, actually. And we're gonna stay on the cat's legs. 
If we can, down he goes. Let me take the other leg as well. Ah, oh, somebody else got him. But hey, that worked out perfectly. Oh my god. They had a very good position, but um, again, our kind of pushes from both sides completely made them collapse. That was fantastic. We got a killing blow, we got 2k MDDs with 854 damage done. That's amazing for this mech. Holy crap. I mean, yes, artillery strikes exist, but oh, that was good. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty guys, second game of the day. We're playing the Vitrix Station, we are playing Skirmish, and I think although I am not really good at sniping on the high ground, the high ground is a good ground for me, because we might be able to get some nice skirmish done on the ramp in the center, and we also have a Kid Fox coming with us, so that is nice. Oh, you really want to do that? Uh, fail. <laughs> Oh, he really wants to get up here, like that. You can... yeah. I, I missed it as well, but uh, it's a thing that you can do. You can use your forward momentum and push your face into uh, into that ramp and just get very, very high with that. Um. Anyways, anybody up top? Uh, we have some people here, but I am not willing to expose my mech yet. We need some more people to get with us. Oh, the lasers. What's gonna happen? What? It looked like he peeked around. He was like leaning, huh? Hi, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody is kind of hesitant right now. And we have a bunch of people going low ground. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna go with the people down there because it's also Jay Z leading that flank. And he's a very good player, so let's go with him. Let's just go with him. Also, there is so much going on here. War Emu. We have the Dire Wolf. Sorry. Crossing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That was completely on me. Completely on me. I could probably say sorry. Sorry. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, cross behind Assault Max. That's the thing. Okay. Careful, though. Careful. Okay, there are people here. That's a very aggressive push. All right. What's the emu? Oh, he's down to 60% already. Um, okay, then. Okay, then. Let's help out a little. Um, we have a bunch of people here, and I'm willing to attack them. Careful. Good, though. Very good. Ah, okay. So, artillery strike is ready. God, what an aggression. Okay, we hit the charger. Where did the blackjack go? Oh, he's right above me. He is right above me. I am very much behind the enemy's lines, though. Oh, this is a problem. This is an arrow. Yeah. At the same time... I think I can handle it because I have the power of friendship. Let's go again. Perfect. Who was that? Is he in range? He is in range. <gasps> oh, this stupid backstrike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, please don't. Please don't hit me again. I need reconsolidation. Yes. Uh, you see the shadows? You see them? Okay. Okay. Um... Charger up top, small lasers, binaries. Let's get around here. Oh, X pulse actually, not binaries. Um, yeah, I mean, we need another angle. We need to figure out where the enemies are first. We have some people here. Not a good shot. The charger is up top. The blackjack is fighting. Here comes an AP Gals. What Viper? Viper F. Part of me really wants to uh, push the other flank again. But I think the high ground is our our chance to get something done. Oh no. I wanna I wanna get completely up here. And I regret it. Okay, let's get out of here. If we can. Okay, we made it. We made it. Oh, I thought I dropped Adi! Oh, I wanted to drop the Adi behind us. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. That was a bad Adi. What was I thinking? Oh, right in our team's flank. I mean, we got him in the end. There's a guy behind us. Is it the Viper? It is, in fact, the Viper. He's getting slower now. Not dead. That should be it. That is it for me. Okay, yeah. I was trying to be aggressive and move with the team. I think I was too much. Man, that Arty strike. Oh god, I regret that so much. That was I like I was like, okay, there's an assault mech. He's not gonna move that far. Um, we're gonna probably hit him a lot with our artillery. And then I was like, wait, there's a lot of teammates there. 
Oh, bad. That's really bad. But all right, let's see how this is gonna go to the end. We didn't survive it here, but our teammates can probably make something still happen. Uh, Archer, one, 180 meters, and you can unleash the, the missile damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lee Docto half dead. One more. Doesn't... That actually does connect. Okay. Um, Archer 2R. Really cool. What else do we have here? The Max Shot Blackjack. Oh, you can do that on the Blackjack. Of course. Oh, it's a thing I didn't consider yet. That might be a good Max Shot build, actually. I would go higher than Medium Pulse, though. Probably. Maybe... Well, there's a Blood Asp in Charlie 5 high ground. He's half dead. Um, but yeah, 7 and 7, still the high ground is covered there, which means that we have a hard time getting there. You know what I would do? Not bother with the, with the blood ass and trying to stay in the low ground. Team is collapsing though, holy crap. Get the lead Octo. Oh man, that Victor. Yeah man, all of the others are so damn damaged. Get the Victor, he's half dead. Center torso one shot. Uh, can you get him? Is he dead? I think he's down. Oh, but yeah, there's the high ground situation. And in fact, uh, I wanted to say the Blood Asp was not even close to death. But there's two Blood Asps. Uh, Alright, so we have an ER Large Laser Asp, which can technically get it done. Oh, there goes our last guy before our actual last guy. Let's see. He has the ECM. He has the range advantage. If the enemies uh, are murder ball now, if they if they start to kind of clump together, we have a bad, bad time here with our blood ass. But he's able to get it done if he can pick on them. Let's see if he's gonna get the angle or if this is a fail. Two on top, there is one. No. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Get the assault mech. He's more damaged. Is it gonna be enough though? Uh, no, no, I don't think it's gonna be enough like that. Center torso open now. No, no, no. Yeah, I got the Asp. It's the better target, buddy. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he completely disregards his defense. He's not really torso twisting, and therefore, he's getting drilled down through his center torso. I think we could have gotten this, but hey, we didn't. It's fine. You lose some, you win some. But I was having fun. We got two killing blows out of that. 530 damage done. Only 16 team damage. That was okay. And uh, yeah, five components destroyed in the whole process. Guys, that was it for today. That was the Phoenix Hawk Rock. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.